as more than 30 makeshift rafts carrying over 1,000 Rohingyas arrived in Bangladesh in the past 10 days, the Ankara, the UN Refugee Agency, says it is concerned at the growing number of people resorting to desperate means to flee Myanmar. Unable to pay to cross the Naf River that forms the border, the Rohingyas were building rafts from whatever materials they could find, such as bamboo poles and jerrycans tied together with rope and covered with plastic sheets, Ankara spokesperson William Spindler told a press briefing at the Palete Nations in Geneva on Friday. More than 200 Rohingyas are known to have drowned in shipwrecks and boat incidents since the start of the crisis on 25 August, Spindler said, adding, recent arrivals told us they had been waiting for more than a month in desperate conditions on Myanmar's shores. Food and water are said to be running low. An estimated 620,000 Rohingyas have fled to Bangladesh since August 25. Spindler said that, Despite efforts to provide more aid and services, overcrowding and difficult living conditions in the camps and makeshift sites increased health, sanitation and fire risks, as well as violence and trafficking. There is an urgent need for additional land and more space for shelters and infrastructure to provide life-saving services and aid including water points, latrines, bathing areas, distribution points, child-safe and friendly spaces, safe spaces for women and girls, community centers, etc., he added. So far, UNRWA has delivered hundreds of thousands of aid items including tents, plastic sheeting, blankets, sleeping mats, mosquito nets, kitchen sets, buckets and jerrycans. Talking to UNRWA in Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh, some 70 families who arrived this week said they fled extortion and harassment in Buthada, in Myanmar's rocking state. One man said uniformed men threatened to seize their belongings. My uncle and my grandfather rejected their orders to share their belongings, so they were detained, he said. My family and I fled, so we did not end up in jail. They walked through a hilly area to reach Dongkalicha Island from where they could sail to Bangladesh. During the journey, they were stopped at a military checkpoint. They took everything. We left with nothing but the clothes on our backs, the man added.